Hey guys, Rick here bringing you another video. Now today me and my friends in the fish tank community, we're going to discuss what is the most frustrating thing about African cichlids. So most of my experience with African cichlids are cichlids from Lake Tanganyika. Overall, they're not as aggressive as the other African cichlids, but they sometimes do fight and sometimes the fighting ends in death. And sometimes it can't be helped. You do as much research as you possibly can and make sure that the fish are compatible but sometimes they aren't, they fight, and sometimes you end up with dead fish. It could happen during the night and you wake up and you see dead bodies. And that to me is probably the most frustrating thing about having African cichlids. The fighting and the potential death. Alright guys, let's hear what some of my friends in the fish tank community have to say about this particular topic. The most frustrating thing for me when keeping African cichlids is the aggression. Um, you know, you, you have all these different types of fish, these different colors, and you want them all but you can't have them all. They just, fish have personalities, they have memories, and having one of everything is just about impossible. Um, I, I do find it's best to overstock the tank. It, it does spread the aggression. If you go to LFS, look at how to keep, keep those fish in those stores. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, they really have those tanks packed, but the aggression is down, right? That's how they can keep 15 German Reds in the same tank and nobody kills each other because the tank is overstocked. So, Overfiltrate, overstock your tank, it limits the aggression. At some point in time, you're going to have to make a tough choice. The tough choice of keeping African cichlids. One of these fish in here, one, right now my tank is completely chill. But one day, i got a lot of juvies in here. One day, one of them is going to realize, hey, I can beat that fish up. And when that happens, the hierarchy changes. And everybody goes completely apeshit. That's the only way to say it. They go apeshit. So you have to make a decision. Do I let this fish kill this fish? Which one do I like better? Which one do I want to keep? And eventually you'll, you'll find the right mix of fish and have a nice, healthy tank. But don't be surprised along the way if you have some headaches, some frustration, until you find the right mix. I find some, some species are more aggressive than other species. Um, some, and that's not to label one type of fish as mean because I've had Luandas that would just kill anything in the tank, and I've had Luandas that were so laid back I couldn't keep them alive. So it's finding the right mix, it's finding what you like, and finding the, the right mix of fish that can handle each other, tolerate each other, and not kill each other. That's what really, really frustrates me about this hobby when your fish die on you. This is what frustrates me about the hobby. You have fish, they grow up, they get big, and everything. And eventually, they croak. They die, they get beat up, uh, they get diseases and everything. This would really, really frustrate me about this hobby. This is like an $80 fish here in Dallas. Man, I had that guy for almost about three years or so. And he just upped and croaked on me. Don't know if he got beat up or whatever, but that's a part of the hobby. Things like that happen. He could have probably lasted another three years or whatever, but not knowing how many years he was living before I purchased him. You know, he probably was a year or two years old before I even got him. You never know. So that's the ups and downs about this hobby. That's what really frustrates me about this hobby. Things like that. Number one frustrating thing, keeping African cichlids. If you've been in the hobby long enough, I'm sure you will agree with me. It's going to be the aggression. I'm not talking about the aggression when you first buy your cichlids. You know, when you first buy them and they're, you know, inch and a half, two inches, everything's fine. You feel like you can just throw whatever you want in the tank. You know, everyone's getting along fine, lots of different colors. But around that seventh or eighth month mark, when your fish really are starting to mature and starting to kind of color up and show their dominance, that's when all hell breaks loose. And I promise you, if you're new to the hobby, heed this warning, it will happen to you. It happens to everyone. So pay very close attention to your ratios and the type of cichlids you're putting together because if they hit that eighth month mark, you have too many males or too many fish that look the same uh, as far as competing against each other, you will have deaths, you will have a lot of money wasted, a lot of time wasted, a lot of uh, you know effort and emotion you've invested in the hobby wasted. So uh, keep that in mind, that's the number one frustrating thing with African cichlids, uh, heed my warning. Please heed my warning. For anyone new to the hobby, pay close attention, do your research, 
and uh, make sure that you know you keep your ratios and species that are aggressive you know try to limit those and be smart with your stock list so my experience uh, I have it documented once again on my channel uh, as far as my frustrations some of my failures and some of my successes so definitely uh, good luck to you guys in the hobby and that's where I'm gonna leave that's my, I just want to share that experience with you guys Alright guys, it's your turn. Leave it in the comments below. What do you think is the most frustrating thing about African cichlids? Share with the rest of us. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.